To replace the brake booster, you will first need to disconnect and remove the battery and tray, remove the air box or aftermarket air induction system, and you will also need to remove the brake pedal switch and the master cylinder. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. Most importantly, do not forget to bleed the entire brake system before you drive the car. Do not attempt to drive the vehicle without first bleeding the system. With all of the previous steps completed, you will be left with the brake booster, red arrow, attached to the firewall. With the older style manual transmissions, move to the interior and remove the cover panel behind the pedals. This panel protects the searing shaft and can be removed by unscrewing the two plastic screws, red arrows, and removing the panel. There is a bracket between the brake and clutch pedal. Use a 13 millimeter socket and remove the two nuts, red arrows. Then remove the bracket. If you have a DSG transmission, this image illustrates the pedals on the DSG transmission car. You can see the four 13 millimeter bolts, red arrows, three shown, securing the brake booster along with where the rod clips to the rear of the brake pedal, yellow arrow. This car has a brake switch located on the master cylinder. The booster shaft is connected to the back of the brake pedal by several different means. On our project car, the shaft was held in place by two plastic clips, red arrow. Pushing the clips back allowed us to remove the shaft from the brake pedal. Note, it is really tight environment to work in and you will need patience to remove it without damaging it. There are four 13 millimeter nuts holding the brake booster to the firewall and pedal box. You will need a 13 millimeter deep socket to remove the four nuts, red arrows, three shown. With the four nuts removed, you can wiggle and pull the brake booster out from the front, red arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. When you are finished, you will need to completely bleed the brakes on the car, all four corners. Do not drive the car without completely bleeding the brakes. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.